Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it's open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there must be a message for you here. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Eight of Wands. You are receiving a lot of messages today. It can be in the physical realm, people trying to get in touch with you, or somebody sending you constantly so many messages, or it can be also messages coming from the inner world. So if it is coming from the inner world, be aware of synchronicities, be aware of repeating numbers, animals constantly busying you, uh, visiting you, be aware of your dreams and uh, feathers, all these things. Be aware of interconnected events and interconnected sentences or words. So uh, you will have to rely on your intuition very closely. Be aware also of these people who are communicating with you. Sometimes the universe also uses people to send us messages, even events. So whatever events are happening with you or on uh, happening to you right now, uh, you try to see if there is interconnectedness in them because they could also carry with them messages from the universe. Now, let's try to see how this will unfold in the near future. Okay, a chapter will close. Maybe that's why you are receiving messages from a lot of messages. Maybe those who are involved in this chapter could be the ones who are sending you messages. But it is something, a situation that causes you a lot of pain. You see here a lot of swords. These swords are causing you a lot of anxieties, maybe mental pain, also body pains, maybe back pains. It can be something that has been a burden to you, uh, a responsibility maybe, that uh, you maybe have finally decided to close, or the universe will close it for you, or somebody else closed it for you. So a chapter just closed, and before that closing, there were a lot of communications. It can be that these communications can be fiery, you see here. These are ones, so there might have been a lot of discussions, uh, maybe arguments for some. And uh, these fiery conversations may be led to the closing of the chapter. But it's okay. A new chapter is opening. So there is promise. Uh, let's try to see what is the advice of the universe for you. It's really giving you a lot of anxiety right now. So maybe <clears throat> this is, uh, these are messages coming from the universe. Even these three cards can also be messages coming from the universe. Maybe it's really something that you really need to close. You see, this card shows you being alienated from the city. So it can be that you are in a situation where you are being alienated by a group of people and the anxiety and anxiety surrounds you can be also people talking negatively, maybe directly at you and also indirectly. It can be also gossips are going about. So uh, you are in a very toxic environment. Even here, there are a lot of mud puddles where you are stepping on. So it's hard to be grounded. You know how it is when the ground is muddy? It's very slippery. So you also feel uh, maybe in a slippery situation wherein you don't find stability. At the same time, many times you are blindfolded. You don't know what is happening. And many times you couldn't move. Maybe people are putting barriers and trying to limit, the, limit your movement. So I feel that somehow these messages that are coming to you by the Eight of Wands can be the universe trying to make you realize that this situation is no longer 
beneficial for you and it has to close. Welcome that moment. Uh, let's try to see what else will follow. Okay, you see, if you can just let go of these things, you can have a new beginning. We have here the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is, yeah, trying to use the sword to defend himself. Okay, you see, even if he is clumsy, he's trying to use the sword to defend himself. So in a certain sense, it's about time for you to say no. And even if you, in your helplessness, you need to begin anew. The Page of Swords usually symbolize also pages usually symbolizes beginning learning something new so in a certain sense allow this chapter to close because it is not anymore healthy for you and begin anew like the page of swords take up something new take up a hobby nurture yourself the page of swords is somebody who's trying to learn something new Someone who is open to new things. So open yourself up. The sun is beginning to rise again. Open yourself up to new possibilities. Allow the universe to help you. Listen to the universe. I feel these are messages coming from the universe telling you you are no longer in a healthy situation and you need to close that and begin something new something that will make you feel refreshed just like this page you see he is enjoying the wind blowing against his hair and he is learning something new he's learning how to wield the sword so you are learning also maybe wielding the sword is also learning to have good boundaries learning to defend yourself learning to say enough i deserve better than what i am having at this present moment so uh, it seems that the universe wants you to let go of a painful chapter listen and uh, don't worry this one is awaiting you a new chapter where the clouds are starting to clear there are birds in the sky which can symbolize your soul finally soaring again and a hope wielding a sword is having good boundaries not letting the past again dominate your life this is enough you've suffered enough the universe now is helping you close this chapter so accept the closing of the chapter and begin anew so this is what we have for you for our sunset tarot let us now go to insights at twilight for our insights at twilight uh, the message is from tina Fay, and it is do not waste your energy trying to change opinions do your thing and do not care if they like it okay when you look at this message, it's very much similar or very much related to our tarot reading, wherein uh, the lady in the Eight of Swords is unable to move because she is tied down by the opinion of other people. She is also blinded because people maybe are talking behind her back. At the same time, the opinions of people, people talking, somehow are symbolized by the swords that are surrounding her she's also in a uh, in an in a an environment where there are a lot of mud and water so she is really in a very uncomfortable situation and she seems to be uh, taken out of the city so she seems to be also uh, discriminated or pushed out of a group so when you look at it uh, many of the anxieties the swords can symbolize also anxieties even the ten of swords also symbolizes pain caused by a lot of anxieties a lot of thoughts and worries now this 
most most likely majority of these things that you are thinking of are based on the opinions of other people that's why uh, the page of swords is a very fresh uh, addition to the cards that are set earlier because somehow the page of swords is holding a sword even if he is still learning how to wield it the sword is as if having that good boundary saying I am not affected by your opinions okay well actually you are affected at this time but you can always say enough I will not let your opinions affect me anymore I believe in myself and I believe in what I am doing now if you disagree with what I believe in with what is uh, a flame inside me then just let me be and I will not be affected anymore by whatever other people will be saying sometimes the ones that cause anxieties are thinking of what other people would say and when we are like that sooner or later we are forced to be somebody we are not and it will not make us happy so somehow the challenge of the card and the challenge of our tarot reading is to no longer be affected by the opinions of others and to try not to be a people pleaser to just be happy being yourself and not be affected if you are different from the rest even if your opinion also is different from the rest it takes courage to do this it takes courage to say to the world world this is me just accept me for who I am if you cannot then just let me be it's just that if you are inspired to follow something then follow it and not don't think of what other people would say listen to the inspiration in your heart let the universe guide you and uh, take yourself out of a situation sometimes if you are already in a situation where it's really difficult for you to be who you truly are then take yourself away from that situation if you have to go to a better environment where people where you will find people who are supportive then do so you deserve much better you deserve a better situation a situation where people recognize your value and people respect your opinion so don't waste your energy trying to change opinions whether you try to change it whether you continue on doing things it's there it's beyond your control it's out of your circle of influence the opinion of other other people is beyond our circle of influence so we let it go and trust it to the divine let us just concentrate on ourselves let us do our thing and not to be affected by whether they like it or not let's just follow that drummer within us so that's it for today in our uh, sunset tarot and uh, insights at twilight I hope you were able to resonate with our reading and uh, you were able to gain some insights that will help you to face your present challenges. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.